The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Tamina is here to fight. I can't say I'm surprised to see Tamina come out here tonight in such a bad mood. Actually, I don't know if I've ever seen her in a good mood. Of course she's in a bad mood, Saxton. Imagine walking to the ring to do your job and then seeing your stupid face at the announce table. Oh, ha, ha, Corey. Very funny. Corey, Byron does have a point. I mean, Tamina has always had a chip on her shoulder. It doesn't look like tonight is going to be any different. Big match here, guys, as the title will be on the line tonight. And the champ has looked dominant of late, but all it takes is one wrong move, and that title could be going home with somebody else. Corey, are you like a lot of the people I've seen on social media today who are ready to write the champion off here tonight? Well, popular opinion is certainly going against the champion for some reason tonight. But no, I'm not ready to say that this is the night she loses the gold. In fact, I expect big things from her here tonight. Introducing the challenger from the Pacific Islands, Tamina! And introducing the champion from San Jose, California, the SmackDown Women's Champion, This is for the Women's Championship, sold out here. Everyone standing in anticipation to see who truly is the best superstar in the women's division. The women's champion posted on social media today, nothing makes me happier than decimating whoever dares approach the peak of my mountain. Strong foreshadowing words for her opponent. Well, it might be unfortunate then that her challenger possesses the ability to move mountains and might shove the champ clean off the top. Hey. Just tossed. She could airline miles for that. She bails in a hurry. And Bailey evades that one. Snapmare. Not safe yet. Kick. For the win to retain the championship. She's oh, got a long way to go early. before she should be thinking about a pinfall victory here. Tough situation to be in right here. Ah, oh, right to the throat. Headbutt. Bailey on her heels now. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Up on their shoulders. Down in a hurry. Tamina Snuka giving a little South Pacific flavor right there. 
I spoke with Bailey earlier tonight, and she told me she's not embarrassed or ashamed of the love and passion she had for WWE growing up. She's proud to look back at her poems and essays that convey her desires to be a superstar. with the Samoan drop. Tamina is really going to work in there. She continues to press forward. Oh, the reversal by Bailey. Tattooed with a double axe handle. Ooh, well measured. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Double axe handle. Look at this. Snap suplex. Targeting the back. Very effective. The challenger eating up some damage. She can withstand the punishment, though. Hurricanrana. Oh. Bailey is showing she can talk trash and taunt with the best of them. across the middle rope. She's got to remember to get back in the ring before the referee's 10 count. One. Close line. Two. Three. Oof, kick finds it. What's this? Michinoku driver. Oh. Absolutely Five. planted. Six. Back into the ring. Seven. With what Byron said about Bailey's childhood essays in mind, it's safe to say Whoa. that Bailey is just like the average fan in the crowd. Her super fandom is what makes her relatable to true. everyone in the hunger section. Yeah, it may be true, but my sources in the San Jose School District tell me she Three. got all Fs on those essays. Bailey's case of arrested development needs to end if she ever Four. wants to be taken seriously as a WWE superstar. Five. Oh, my Air. God, what an elbow. And again, this is for the women's title. This one's about the women's championship, and nothing means more to these women than that title. And Bailey evades that one. Bailey Plex, the champion into the cover. One, two, three. Bailey successfully defends her championship. Let's get another look at how Bailey took control of this match. Here is your winner, and still the SmackDown Women's Champion, Bailey. And she picks up the win. It's successful defenses like this that make the champion such a feared competitor. That match certainly lived up to the expectations of what you would see here at Money in the Bank.